in the hall. I use in the hallway for when people are at my door delivering packages or food or if someone's coming over that's a little unsure of my dogs at first. It's just a designated area that they go to and they stay there until I tell them they can come out of. It helps with structure and having boundaries and things like that, which I prefer to do with my dogs. It's a very simple thing to teach. It's just a lot of luring and staying consistent with having them go to the same designated area. But that's pretty much it. If you want your dog to close the gate behind them, like Sirius did, you're gonna have to teach your dog how to close doors, which I have a whole video on that already. But this is just teaching you how to teach them to go to a designated area and stay there till you say they can come out of it. Are you ready? You wanna show? Kiss? Thanks. So I started off by picking a spot in my house that was close to my front door so that I could have them be able to go in there very easily if I needed them to. It's also connected to my room. So this was just the best spot for me to pick. It's up to you what works best with your dog, with your house or apartment layout, where you decide to do this at. But I picked this hallway for those specific reasons. So after I picked the spot that I was going to have them go into, I would just take some treats and sit next to the area and take these treats and guide him. So I would just say, in the hall. Guide him in there. When he's in there, then I would reward him. And I would sit here for a second kind of as a barrier so he knows he can't come out. And then when I was okay with him coming out, I would say, free and guide him out and toss a treat so he can get that treat. I want him to know that I don't want him coming out until I say a release word. So I started incorporating free as soon as I started this command. Hi, you're very cute. In the hall. Just lots of luring, guiding him with these treats. And then I would sit here and kind of reward him for staying in that spot. And then when I wanted him to be able to come out free, just guide him out with that release word, give him another treat. And just, it's repetition. It's the same thing over and over. You just want him to get comfortable with this spot and going in it as you ask. In the hall. Good job. I really do suggest working on this right next to the spot that you're having them go to just so they get used to the command with you right here it's a lot easier guiding them less confusing and then once they start to get the concept you can start to move away a little bit free i really spent a few days staying right next to the gate to get him used to going in here in the hall and just lots of rewards every time he did. I made it a fun experience. I made it very happy, exciting for him. Good rewards. He's happy. Free. And just toss the treat away from me so that he knows free means he is free to exit. Good job. Once he reached a point where he was entering the hallway as I asked, as I sat next to it, I started standing up and moving a few steps away while still asking him to in the hall. And I would reward him free and I would keep going to different spots in the hall still kind of close so that he was understanding this threshold is where I want him free in the hall good job free and I just stayed really consistent. I would spend a few days where we practice from the kitchen. I would spend a few days practicing from the living room so that he understood if I asked him at any point to go to the hallway, that's where he's supposed to go. Salem in the hall. And then I would walk over and reward him. You do wanna take your time with getting them used to this. So staying near the gate for a bit will really help them get understanding that this is the area you want them to go to and then work your way up to moving away. And after those repetitive steps, your dog should be able to go into a room, a hallway, wherever you ask very easily. In the hall. Good job, guys.